Hi everyone, I'm Tom Slavik and welcome to TSPN's News for Today. Let's get into our stories. Well, what was to have been a joyous conclusion of a year-long effort to build a group picnic area at Pioneer Park turned to a sour disappointment for Eagle Scout candidate Andrew Meese when he discovered that the concrete tabletops and benches that he had fellow Boy Scouts had constructed at Pioneer Park had been vandalized with vulgar drawings and profanity. After a full day of building frames, setting rebar, pouring concrete, and smoothing out the surfaces of the tabletops and bench seats on Sunday, October 7th, the Boy Scouts, led by Andrew, had taped off the area with caution tape and left the park at 5 p.m., apparently before the concrete could dry. Well, seizing the opportunity, vandals deeply etched profane drawings and words into the wet cement, defacing the tabletops and bench seats. Nearly a week later, Saturday morning, October 13th, the scouts returned to the Pioneer Park to affix the tabletops and the bench seats to the stands they had erected in the newly cleared group picnic area when they found the tabletops and seats unusable in their defaced condition. Always prepared, the scouts did their best to conceal the damage and assemble the tables and benches, but the tables and benches still need to be resurfaced before and they can be used and anyone with expertise in concrete resurfacing who can donate suitable materials for this purpose is encouraged to contact Andrew Meese at andrew at volcano.net. In addition, since the project is now over budget, donations to help complete the project can be made through the Amador Community Foundation, Post Office Box 1154, Jackson, California 95642. Attention, Andrew Meese Eagle Project Fund or make a donation payable to Boy Scout Troop 64 in Sutter Creek. Administrative Officer Chuck Eiley announced the retirement of Floyd Martin, the veteran service officer who served in that post since August of 2000. Martin's retirement will be effective at the end of the year. The county is greatly appreciative of the dedication and hard work that Floyd has given to the county and its 140 Make that 1,400 plus veterans during his time as Amador County's veteran service officer. And Supervisor Ted Novelli, a retired Marine, said, Amador's community, veterans, is losing a great advocate for their needs and we will miss Floyd tremendously. Up for discussion at Amador Fire Safe Council's regular Board of Directors meeting will be the following items, which are also set for possible action. Committee grant reviews for the Lookout Tower, Hazard Fuels Reduction and Maintenance, Employee Handbook Review, and the ACCG Report. They will also be discussing old business with a possible action on the topics and the, to be discussed will be Pine Grove CCWPP Steering Committees, Committee Work Group, Tiger Creek RAC Project Status, High Country CWPP Status, the Sherwood Project Status, the Firewood Bank disposition, and lastly, the Children's Outdoor Bill of Rights pertaining to state parks. And the meeting is October 17th, that's tonight at 3 to 5 p.m. in the Amador County Agricultural Department Conference Room, 122200 Airport Road, Martell. And Ted Novelli of District 3 has been elected as chairman of the Cal LAFCO, as announced by County Administrative Officer Chuck Eiley. Cal LAFCO consists of all 58 counties within the state of California, and Supervisor Novelli will serve in this capacity for one year term, expiring at the end of 2013. And the Technical Advisory Committee meeting for Monday, October 22nd, has been canceled due to a lack of agenda items, reports Heidi Jacobs, Amador County Planning Department's Senior Administrative Assistant. Let's take a look at our weather. It should be a nice day out there again today, with a high of 86, low of 63, winds out of the southwest, 7 miles an hour. And on Thursday, sunny high 88, low of 60, winds out of the east, 8 miles an hour. And Friday, sunny high 82, with a low of 57. Air quality index levels good today on Wednesday at 49, and moderate on Thursday at 67. And my guests when we come back will be Supervisor Louis Boitano. We'll be talking about uh, various topics, but especially Measure Q and Measure U, which are on the ballot for this November. Stay with us right here on TSPN. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.